High res gets a new big partner. Arc survival involved travels to the future. And a huge update heading to Marvel Heroes 2016. This is MML Play Weekly News. In the pursuit of celebrating their good fortune, Ubisoft has been giving away copies of the crew this summer. Knowing not everyone can win that raffle, the publisher is allowing players to try the racing MMO for free. Sure, it's only for 30 days. But that's over four weeks of touring the vast and beautiful network of American roads. Race any way you want, where you want, whenever you want. What better way to represent the USA than with pure, unadulterated freedom? Take advantage of this awesome offer starting next week. Hi Res, developer of massive MOBAs such as Smite and Paladins, has partnered with Tencent to bring their games to China. This seems like a fairly normal business transaction. After all, Tencent is a Chinese company that can help localize and provide support for high-res games. But the deal is actually quite a bit more interesting than just that. If you're not aware, Tencent is also the owner, as in they own a majority stake in Riot Games. Who's that? Only the developer behind the single most played video game in the world, League of Legends. Also, low leads or near leads the esports industry. All this is to say, Tencent knows their way around competitive multiplayer games in a big way. Assuming you don't already live in China, you probably won't even be directly affected by this deal for a while. The big changes will be coming from the esports angle. I bet Paladins' popularity is going to explode off of this. Keep in mind just how ridiculously huge the player base in China is. A big player base leads to more people watching, which leads to more people playing, which leads to more people watching, which leads to more people playing, and repeat. Or you know, all the Chinese players will continue to play League of Legends, or Overwatch, and Paladin's popularity will stay virtually the same. We'll see. If you're someone who wants full control of your very expensive device, then I have some very unfortunate news for you. Pokemon Go developer Niantic has blocked rooted and jailbroken phones from playing their game. Although disappointing, it's not really surprising. Niantic has risen to such a crazy size and as such wants to please big cell phone or something like that. But hey, dummy, look over yonder. This update comes with a new buddy system, a favorite Pokemon that follows you around far and wide. But wait, they shouldn't be allowed to get away with this. Rooting and jailbreaking is consumer friendly, attempting to take that away is wrong. Oh, but the little buddy is so cute. Oh. Wanting to push to the future, Arc Survival Evolved developers have been looking to the sky for answers. And they found one. Just like always, players will start out with little more than a stick and a rock, and will be thrown to the inhospitable conditions that is the great outdoors. Determined survivors, however, don't just get the gift of life, they get true freedom. The ability to fly. Two dinosaurs have been added, both of which have long strange names, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce them, and one of those can be tamed to rise above all else. Additionally, night vision goggles have been added to bring even more tactical diversity to nighttime operations. Every single hero in Marvel Heroes 2016 will receive a design update at the same time. I could stop at this bit of news by this point, but there's more, so much more. For example, players will get to enjoy the perks of maximum power point allotment injected right into their base stats. This quality of life change allows powers to be at their full potency 100% of the time. Now instead of two binary specializations, players will be able to pick and choose from five talent sets. This is an enormous boost to player customization and preference. Traits are another quality of life update to the game's user interface. Both offensive and defensive passive traits effectively communicate to the player where that hero's powers lie. These traits will be a front and center reminder of viable builds, in addition to reducing the amount of menu and stat rummaging just for bits of information. League of Legends' biggest tournament of the year, Worlds 2016, is just a paltry few weeks away. Starting September 29th, the best teams from around the entire world will come together to fight for the Summoner's Cup. Millions of excited fans all over the globe, tens of thousands of hyped crowds at Madison Square Garden and Staples Center, thousands of unforgettable moments, hundreds of determined players and staff, dozens of nerve-wracking games, but one winner. 
The group draw determining what group each team falls in has been completed. For the full breakdown, head on over to the new story from the link in the description. Notables include LCK Summer Grand Champion Rocks Tigers against EU Summer Grand Champion G2 in Group 1. Group 2 has SK Telecom vs Cloud9. LPL Summer Grand Champion EDG facing LMS's Summer Grand Champion AHQ in Group 3. And the always lucky NALCS Summer Grand Champion TSM against a bunch of second rate teams. As an esports fanatic, I would love to break down each group and give a complete tournament bracket prediction with explanations from each one, but we just don't have time. Here's a rough outline of my prediction. Here's a rough outline. Rocks, G2, SKT, Flash Wolves, AHQ, EDG, TSM, and Samsung Galaxy will make it out of the groups. Roughly speaking, Rocks, SKT, EDG, TSM will move on, and the finals will be between Rocks and EDG or SKT. Just like good old times. Make sure to check out all those relevant links in the description like first looks, news stories, and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.